Hello and welcome to a closer look at the brand new LG Velvet. It all starts with the raindrop camera layouts. So on top we have a larger sensor 48 megapixel main camera and that is backed up by not only a depth sensor but also a wide angle camera and the flash. So not only does it look good, but importantly with that 48 megapixel camera on board, we should see some pretty solid image quality. So there is of course a high quality selfie camera. We all know the real pro camera move is take selfies with the rear camera. So you can really see that 48 megapixel sensor putting in work here. So because it is such a large sensor, we get some natural depth of field. So yes, of course we do have a portrait mode and we can try that out. But beyond just the full portrait mode, this is just a shot straight out of that camera and it already looks this good. All right, let's see here. Cheese. One. So because we have so many different camera features to try, we did bring another Velvet with the tripod, which is currently running through a time lapse. But I also want to see what kind of depth of field we can get through here, because this is a really challenging shot for dynamic range. We got all of that in range, and you can see that the background is nicely soft. That is really impressive. I actually was not expecting such quality out of the camera. But of course, you can do more than just take photos with the Velvet. So now, why don't we try some of the video modes? So while we've been recording, I've had this Velvet set up in time-lapse mode. So let's take a look and see what that looks like. So one of the nice things is, while obviously a tripod is very helpful, time-lapse mode really gives you a very unique perspective and that essentially it speeds everything up, kind of gives you that sort of movie montage style feel. Let's see how it looks on the Velvet. That's pretty cool. You see the cars flying by, the wind. Obviously, if we sort of waited maybe an hour or two, we'd actually be able to see the sunset come down. That's really nice, and importantly, it is super vibrant and super, super sharp. 4K, man. So you've already seen what the LG Velvet video looks like and sounds like, but now I'm taking advantage of the voice bokeh feature. So because we have two high sensitivity microphones on board, usually when I'm filming beside a street, it would be incredibly loud. However, the voice bokeh feature does a very good job of trying to compress all of the external background noise and push it down. Just like as I step closer to the camera and the background gets a little bit more shallow, so too should the audio get a little bit more focused on my voice and not so much on all the hustle and bustle around it. It's nice because usually when I'm trying to record videos, I need to use like lavalier microphones and shotguns and all that kind of stuff. But if I can get usable audio straight out of the phone, that is a huge win. The next thing I'm gonna try is a little feature called ASMR recording. Now you might think it's a little creepy that I'm suddenly whispering, what this is doing is it's using the two very high sensitivity microphones of the LG Velvet to get a very calm, very soothing appearance to my audio. Now, to do that, I would actually need to be calm and soothing sounding. And instead, I probably sound a little bit creepy. But the most important thing is, all I need is the LG Velvet, and I can get whatever ASMR needs you need. I'm gonna go back outside and talk loud again, because this is not pleasant for either of us. So all of this should hopefully give you a good sense of why I personally think the LG Velvet is not only a great camera for pretty much anyone to use, but also specifically as a content creator, something which really does fulfill a lot of my needs. You're looking at the 4K video being vlogged right now, but ultimately it can do a whole lot more than just give you great photos and videos. My next favorite feature of the LG Velvet is the dual screen accessory. So it works really simply. Open it up and you slide your Velvet in just like a normal case, except this has a little USB-C port on the bottom. With that, you have double the screens for double the fun. Look, okay, I'm gonna be real. Of course, there's this thing called a folding smartphone concept, which certainly can work. However, with the Velvet, you can kind of get the best of both worlds. When you want that double screen real estate with two full displays to run a couple apps at the same time, you've got it. But when you don't, you want a super sleek and thin phone, you can take the Velvet out and walk around with it all day long. This works pretty simply. So say you wanna watch a YouTube video on one side, maybe I'm following a tutorial or a recipe or I'm procrastinating watching YouTube on my phone. But on this display, I could be opening up Google Docs or Twitter or something. Maybe I'm making fun of Linus on this screen. And all I need to do if I want is I can switch things around by swapping the screens over here. Or you can also, for some apps, including YouTube, actually go wide view. So that's a little bit aggressive for something like YouTube, but you could also rotate it like this and then you can get an even larger display. So inside a game, all you need to do is tap the little gamepad button, enable it, and then you essentially get what is a virtual Android gamepad. 
Now, every game is going to support this in different ways, so you do need to check. You actually can make custom game pads too for games that don't necessarily support a controller, but if it does support a controller, like Asphalt, then it is really simple. So you actually can change out the individual styles. So you have your normal game pad, but you also have racing style, you have arcade style, basic, and you can create your own custom. Wait, let's try the racing one. It actually works surprisingly well. Obviously, different games will support the sort of virtual controls differently. But what I do want to do is not crash into that. Okay, that's fine, that's fine. You know what's nice about this is that you actually get a little bit of vibration as you sort of move around. That's pretty cool. Oh yeah, there you go, there you go. Hey! Dude, that's actually really fun. I love the idea of being able to swap that out. At first I thought it was just the gamepad, but you can actually really easily just swap between the different modes. Once you've gotten through your long day of work and gaming, when you close the phone, you'll see your cover display. So this is a small display on the front of the case, which not only doesn't eat up a lot of your battery, but gives you a lot of information that is super useful, including the time, the date, your notifications, all that stuff shows up right here on the little dual display. Honestly, the dual screen is especially helpful if you do have the stylus pen, so you could be watching a video on one side and taking notes, but regardless of how you use it, this is a very nice feature to get yourself a lot of extra screen real estate for a phone which by itself is incredibly thin and incredibly light. So when you add the extra screen, you really do get a solid overall package. My third favorite feature is the fact that we of course have full 5G built into the device. Now there are three things you really need to make sure that you get a solid 5G experience. First of all is the chipset that actually enables the 5G radio and the antennas and the entire package in the first place. But to back that up, you need a phone which is durable and you also need a phone which can deliver solid battery life. 5G, my friends, you gotta keep that battery in check. Otherwise, you're gonna be uh, sad and out of battery. The story really starts with the Qualcomm Snapdragon 765 g processor inside. Now, not only is this the, built on the latest 7th nanometer process, which means that you're gonna get solid performance and, of course, that good battery life, but what makes it really unique is that it also has an integrated 5G modem. So generally speaking, a lot of other 5G phones take advantage of an external modem, which means that the phones are usually thicker, they have higher heat requirements, and importantly, they don't have amazing battery life. But with the 765G, it is all integrated, which means that LG were able to make the velvet not only thin and light, but importantly, you still don't sacrifice any of those performance and especially any of those features, including 5G. It really is something which, if we're here in the middle of 2020, is something that you should really expect, right? 5G is becoming the standard. It is widely being adopted, not only by phones, but also by carriers around the world. So if you're buying a high-end, nice phone like the Velvet, you very much should expect 5G on board, and that Snapdragon 765G really is the key to unlock that potential. Literally powering all of this is a 4,300 milliamp hour battery and LG's AI power management. So between the two of these features, it means that not only do you have enough battery to easily make it through a full day of use, but importantly, you have the battery life to support the performance at full speed, right? You don't have to be in power saving mode trying to eke out every little bit of performance. Instead, you get the full performance of the phone and you get the 5G connectivity in the durable shell. Realistically, when it comes to the LG Velvet, it really is the full package. Not only does it look nice, but you have pretty much all of the features that you would hope to find in a high-end flagship in 2020. The LG Velvet obviously is a phone, which in my opinion is really interesting, but I'm curious, what do you guys think about the latest LG Velvet and how this is such a huge change from the previous G series and obviously a major new philosophy for LG as a whole? Let me know in the comments below and thank you very much for watching. I wish I had an outro, but I didn't plan one, so I'm gonna awkwardly disappear now and thank you again for watching the video. I should have thought ahead, but I haven't, so goodbye.